Hi, my name is Cheryl Brunette, and today I'm going to answer another question from a viewer who's a relatively new knitter. The question is, what's the best set of needles to use? And the answer is, it depends. When it comes time to choose needles for a project, there are many different things that you have to consider. One of which, what is the style needle do you need? Do you need, for example, long straights, which just, by the way, happen to be my favorite in almost every circumstance. You can also use short straights, or you can use double pointed, we have some double pointed ones here. We have some double pointed ones here. And if you want, you can choose these. I did say circular. Oh, sometimes you need circular because what you're building requires a circular needle. And these I bought years ago. I bought a number of sets of them and they were supposed to be the best of both worlds. They were supposed to have points like circulars, but they were cut for ends and honestly, I hate these things. They drive me crazy. I'm sure that there are people who love them, but they always get tangled up in my yarn. These ends do. And maybe if I put these um, things in boiling water, that might straighten them out and they might turn out to be the most wonderful things ever. But I can't stand these little springy things bumping all over the place. However, the advantages of these are that they have a pretty good join and um, the points to the smaller ones have enough of a point for me. And of course, there's the lightweight. Especially as I get older, I find that I'm using wooden needles more and more just because I love them so much. Now here, here are needles of mine that are almost always in motion. These are needles that my grandpa made. And he's been dead since 59, so you know they've been around for a while. Um, and they have little hand markings on them. Th these are size eights, and these ones are tens, and or no, these are about ten and a halfs, and these are, they're, although they're marked tens, and these are about tens. Now, if you look at them carefully, you'll see that they aren't even the exact same length. There's a little bit of variation in length. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. And if you look closely at the points, they, are, they don't even have the same taper quite. They were done in a, um, in a pencil sharpener. <laughs> so some of the points are longer than the others. They are quite pointed. And my personal preference has always been for pointy needles. And I, I don't know why that is. Um, sometimes if I have a yarn that's really loosely spun, they're not as much fun. But I almost never want to use a non-pointy needle. These are a little bit duller, but because they are larger, then you're using a larger yarn with it, so it's okay. And you can't see it here, but this particular end of this particular needle has been so worn that it actually isn't round anymore. It is almost flat in this direction. And every time I use it, it just makes me feel good. This is a very pointy um, circular. These are old boy needles. I actually, I know they're boys because I have the original packaging for the green ones and these are the same kind of point. These are almost a bulbous point. It's a little bit of, um, of a rounded point at the end but still sharp enough and then something about this taper that is unusual and I like that a great deal. Weight is something to consider. These are huge, these are 15s, but they are hollow aluminum, so they're not heavy to carry at all. I also have some 13s that are um, old and they're like a plasticky one, and they're considerably heavier. heavier. In fact, these are heavier, which are, they're shorter, and they're smaller in diameter, but they're heavier than these. So the weight is something that you should consider. The materials, too. Um, wood keeps the yarn from sliding back and forth. If you have a slick yarn, wood can help slow it moving back and forth, and you're less likely to lose stitches. In fact, it's probably pretty good for beginning knitters. It's lightweight and um, not too smooth. Aluminum is very smooth. Plastics, I mean, they vary 
they're slicker. Um, so you want to feel, oh, these, I love these. Look at how long those tapers are. <laughs> this is great for doing things like cables and lace, and that's the kind of, I like to do fancy color work and that sort of thing. I don't do just much plain stuff. This is, again, this is that taper. And here's an example. This is actually, a, you're getting a sneak preview of one of the swatches for a class that I'm designing that's coming up. It's a full class, class and it's called Crazy About Cables, but I will hide that right now. Um, and that's about all I have around here. So consider the style, the type of point, and the length of the taper, the diameter, given the kind of yarn you want, and um, the material that it's made of, and the expense. Now, is it important to have really expensive needles? I don't know, because I don't have any. These are all either leftover from my mom, or, ones from, and my, or my grandma, or ones that I had in my stash that I accumulated over the years. I also pick up a lot um, from garage sales and things because I teach classes to children sometimes, and when they go home, if they're interested, I want them to have a pair of needles and some yarn so that their parents don't have to go out and spend any money for these kids, or spend time and money. It's hard for parents to get out to do that, especially if they're non-knitters. So, I hope that helps. Knitting needles are tools, and although some are better made than others, almost all of them are just fine. What's really important in predicting what will be the best needles for you for a given project is your skill and experience. The more you play with different needles, the more you will be able to predict what will work in a given situation and what will make you what will make it more enjoyable for you so until i see you again knit a little bit each day it's good for you the answer is it depends <laughs> i forgot to bring the needles up at the right time <laughs> should we go one more time yeah you can go again. okay okay take three take three oh, you said. I did take it. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> take, take three. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Needle.